Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us again here at the Cardboard Crawlers Outdoor Amphitheater. We're just uh, coming out into the rocks, made a new little entrance in to the main rock pile. Uh, the rocks that we can see straight out in front of us, this is all kind of a new section of rocks. It's not really connected, so I just uh, stacked a couple rocks out there by the Gladiator and JLU to get us over these into this rock section past these biggies and yeah just you know been kind of in a funk lately honestly people full disclosure uh, I don't work a lot in the summer I do a lot of like neighborhood cleanup and just helping thy neighbor kind of thing I run a snowcat full time in the winter I run a crew and I've just kind of set myself up to be frugal enough that I'm able to not work in the summer, but sometimes it brings me down. Sometimes I get a little bit funky because of it. I don't have the money to maybe go spend on a, on a luxury item or a, a trip that I might want to take. I, I was kind of thinking I wanted to go to the Gauntlet, but you know, it's a 1400 mile round trip from my house. And it's just really not something I can budget right now. I have to drive across country to go to work in a couple of months. So, yeah, but I do love my life. And what I remembered was that, you know, you don't have to find the cause. You don't have to find the thoughts that are causing resistance in your life, that are bringing you down. What you need to do is find a thought that isn't causing resistance. Just reach for a thought that brings you relief. And so, you know, I have been trying to do that. Thinking more positively and realizing that I do have a very good life. I am very lucky to be able to spend my time the way I want to. It's, you know, for the most part. I have a lot of free time in maybe I could use it more wisely and that might make me happier. So I just decided to get out and film and do this a little bit today and it, you know, cause I was feeling better and he makes me feel better. That's Blue Dog. He's my number one homie. Uh, he's 12 year old American Eskimo Husky mix. And I have known him since he was about four weeks old. And I took him home when he was about eight or ten weeks old. I can't remember. I was working on a farm at the time. And, yep, we live our best life. We go to the snow every winter. And he has, every winter, I said, maybe except one, he has experienced snow in his life. I was in China for a winter in 2018. And he stayed with my folks here in North Carolina. And, nope. We were in Placerville when I was in China, so yeah, I think they got snow that year. He got like an inch of snow, but yeah, he likes to bury himself in it. Anyway, uh, yeah, just, you know, if you're along this far, please like, subscribe, share this video, you know, show your grandkids, show your grandpa, you know, he might not have YouTube, but if you showed him how to get it on his channel or on his phone, he might like to watch these silly little videos so check them out share them like subscribe i'm a new channel and i'm uh, trying to do more so i really enjoy this hobby i'm new to it i've only been in it for a few months and i have built between my sister and her three boys and her husband i've built them four rigs i've built myself four rigs uh, there's only three right here right now, but uh, I have a another Maz Designs. Uh, I'm, tr I'm trying to build like a comp buggy. Um, so, you know, when I go somewhere where there is a little competition, we can, you know, actually run, run a comp buggy. So I have another Maz chassis. It's pretty much built up. I just need to finish gluing my magnets and um, actually need to ask someone about um, sealant for my paint on my body i want to do that before i put my magnets on so maz if you're watching i need to talk to you about that call me 
or I'll talk to you on a live stream in the next couple days. Um, anyhow, yeah, she's a runner. Took the high road with the C10 there because um, I felt like I was down in a traffic jam there in the pit. And uh, yeah, we'll just drive them up and around and see how she goes. Uh, it's a, I have a pretty good, you know, it's probably three, 400 square feet of rock that I have out here in my yard maybe even more than that i haven't thrown a measuring tape on it but uh, you know i've only been in the hobby for a few months but i've been uh, there's a, you know been collecting a lot of rock and uh just trying to have fun it's easier to just stay near my home for me logistically financially mentally i like my neighborhood so it's easier to just have a a really nice place to film here so uh, I, I think I've done been pretty successful at doing that and uh, I just I want to make it better as well I want to put like a Texoma RC style of uh, part of my course uh, similar to his he has a really cool mountain kind of scene that he made out of like he piled up some scraps and then used a lot of cement and, you know, had the cement, uh, put some dye, some pigment. I think he pigmented the cement. He didn't paint on top of it. I'll have to double check with him on that. And maybe y'all could too. He has a video about how he makes his course. So, um, you know, that's really nice to, you know, it's a good community of people that are always just sharing information and learning and having a good time and most of the time we're laughing and joking and and uh well you know we all have our bad days so like that jlu right there dude just flipped over what's he thinking you know what i mean just turned left when he should have turned right and bang bang good night c10 to the rescue he's running a recovery strap so he'll back into position there and he will go ahead and hook her up so I do this all myself. I'm driving all three rigs. I turn them all on. I get all my controls turned on. I turn on all three of my, uh, the rigs that I'm going to run. And then I just try to be real conscious of the shots I'm shooting. If I shoot one and I don't feel like it's going to fit into the video, I immediately delete it from the phone right then. I don't save it to delete later in editing because then I'll second guess myself. If I shoot something and it's just not correct, I'll just bang, delete it and then start at the beginning again. And I've gotten to the point where I can kind of notice right off the bat if the truck's not doing what I want or if I'm just not at the right camera angle or whatever may happen. Um, so I've, I've, I've gotten better at just shooting everything I want Right now I'm running it on iMovie because I was having difficulty with my LumaFusion and it was just starting to frustrate me. So someone said, hey, try iMovie. It's super simple. And it really is. You go in and you select all of the, the items in the order that you want to run them. And then it formats it super easy. I watch it through one time. I edit out any small snippet that I think is just extra run time. Like right here, there was a little bit of lag time between trucks and I almost edited that out, but I didn't want to have another cut and fade in there. So I just let the few seconds roll. What? Gladi flipped. I need to put a limiting strap in that. I think I could have prevented this rollover with having the front limited. I just did a I just swapped the springs in that. It's running 48 mil millimeter RC Lions shocks. Um, they're the double barrels, but they are 48, not 43 millimeters. And that's a big heavy rig with uh, hot team racing uh, brass axles in it, brass portal axles in it. So it adds quite a bit of weight to that rig. And, uh, but the LCG kit from Grizzly Works really, really helps with, um, that weight and keeping the rest of it down low and then putting battery up front. It's also running Grizzly Works sliders on there. And as you can see, 
hopefully you can see it's running some Grizzly Works stickers and yeah, trying to, you know, advertise for Brandon because he's a, just an awesome human and makes some really cool stuff. If you haven't seen it, go check it out on Etsy, on Etsy Grizzly Works on Etsy. He has a store and I believe he, he has a channel as well. So Grizzly Works on you, Grizzly Works RC on YouTube, I believe. Uh, Mazdesigns.com if you want to look into getting some really cool beadlock rings and the most awesome scale hardware hardware you will ever run, um, and or uh, some other swag. He sells wheels and he runs the he he is the designer and seller of these Maz. Designs chassis. That's a low center of gravity chassis. He makes them out of titanium and or carbon fiber. If you want one, you need to go to his site, sign up, get get become a member of the site. It doesn't cost anything. It's just so you know, like any store, you're a member, so they have you on record. And then at eight o'clock on Friday, you need to be ready to make your purchase because he. He's a small manufacturer. I'm not sure the numbers, if it's a couple hundred every week or if it's just a hundred of these chassis, I don't know, we don't ask, but he sells out every week, sometimes within minutes, people. So if you want one, get one. They're bad A. We love them. Shout out to Maz Designs. Um, and then, you know, my C10 is just built up. It's the first truck I built, first truck I bought, first truck I put parts on. It's got a bunch of Enjora parts. It's got some RC Lion shocks. I'm running the Spring Mod, uh, Texoma RC. Check that out on his channel, Spring Mod. And you can do that with most any uh, set of shocks. You can do the Spring Mod. And it really helps the way the truck sits, the way that they that the springs bounce. Um, I don't currently run any oil-filled shocks. I think I will get some soon. I have a set of Charismas, but I'm really light. I, I'm not really stoked on the action of them. I thought I would be a lot happier with them. Um, and they're, the holes in them are really too big to mount in these holes. They're designed for something else. So you can do some modifications and change some things. They're, Someone makes a kit to make them fit. So, uh, I just haven't gone there yet. Uh, but I hear the Mofo Oil Chill Field and the Hot Racing. Is it Hot Racing? I believe. No. It's. Um, yeah, it might be Hot Racing. Let's see. What are these here? Yeah, hot racing oil fill, I believe. And they make a long travel and they make a normal like 32 millimeter shock, which is I think the standard length that these come with, a 32, 22. They compress to 22 millimeters and they're 32 millimeters fully extended. And you can do a lot with those shocks, you know, kids. Don't just run out and buy shocks right away. You don't have to. You can do a lot with a set of stock shocks. Uh, go watch Texoma RC, how to do the shock mo uh, stock uh, modification, uh, spring modification. All right, so that was a little small hand of God right there. That truck fell off the big cliff. But I just flipped him over, and I'm going to make him drive around because you're not just getting put back up on the rock. That's, we're not doing that. You gotta go back over here and the clock's running if you're in comp. So get it, get it. Rock racer, rock racer. Get it, get it, get it. Come on, come on, come on. Tires up. Okay, so when you flip over, generally speaking, if you turn your tires up to the air and go in reverse, you have a very good chance of flipping yourself back over. Don't turn down to the ground. Turn away and bang a reverse real hard. So... Yeah, we're coming to the end of this video here. Uh, you know, I know it's a little long. I get caught up when I'm filming, and I like to leave it all in and not do a lot of editing out. I like to film it in, and then that's what I want. That side that that rig is coming up, I've never had anything make it up that without a winch. 
Um, tomorrow I'm going to work hard getting the Maz truck up that. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that side really needs a winch. So that's why that Gladi didn't make it up there. It kind of looks easy from this perspective. <clears throat> but if you go around the corner, it's very narrow, very steep at the big rock that we're parked on. And it's just, you know, it's got all kinds of wrong in there. So, but it's fun. It was designed to be that side to the winch and this side is the drive up. And then where that white JLU is sitting is there's gonna be a little bridge going off of that. Or I might build up rocks in a pile to come out and meet that. As you can see, the big rock is sitting on some uh, form stakes. Uh, just It's just balanced up there on those four stakes and it seems to work out really well. I, I just, one of the, first few days when I was designing my course putting rocks in and uh, yeah I'm just going up there to park because I realized you know where we were all out wheeling I was just going to park down below at the river but we're all out wheeling having a good time there's a sunset going on off in that direction and that's what you would do in the one-to-one -one world you take your homies to the high hill and go have a cocktail or smoke them if you got them or just you know have a good day Anyway, thanks for joining. Cardboard Crawlers, out.